Hi guys, welcome to this video with the lap on my couch. <laughs> If you enjoyed our last video, please let us know and I hope you enjoyed this one as well. But don't get used to it. The lockboy is just here for all the day. If you want me to come, just pay. How yes. much is flight? How much is Money it? Vista, and you ah. won't pay for it. The earth is the lot and the phone is dear How it's much is power. flight? If she's going to come here back. Today we are testing how Nigerian we are. Question one. Mm -hmm. Why will you have kids? One, to pass the remote and bring your slippers from the room? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't read the rest of here. You don't have the other ones. Oh, you, the answer is you too. <laughs> the answer, the answer that I have is not even inside here. Ah, tell us the answer. But it's to pass remote is good, and the second one is so that somebody will take his pension. Ah, your pension plan. <laughs> <laughs> you want to use your children to do retirement. <laughs> They do it for you. You yes. say there's a proverb in Yoruba that is a very ridiculous proverb that I don't like. It says, Toki te badagba, omo omo re lomu. Yeah. The literal <laughs> translation is when a rabbit grows old, it suckles on the children's breast. How does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. fresh meat. <laughs> Second one. Your mother is shouting. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Do you keep quiet? Mm -hmm. You look confused? Ask why she shouts it or shouts back. Quiet and look confused. I will do the two together. Look confused, not because I don't know what I did, but look mm. confused because why is now shouting? <laughs> like we can we can settle this thing amicable. Even if you have to resort to shout, but I will not say it. But I will not be quiet and looking like this. And I will not look at her. I can't look. I will look down. I can't look. I will look. Me, I will be looking sad. Like life is over. That's the only way she'll be satisfied. Oh, even yeah. Because you have to give them that satisfaction. Even when we know that. Even though we know we are guilty of what they are shouting and shouting about here. Yeah. You see, when you hear uh, when you hear anything that sounds like a gunshot. Don't even read the option to me. <laughs> you, have you heard the song? A.K. Gunshots. <laughs> he can only run, run, run. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, when you hear Ada Gemira. <laughs> <laughs> I have disappeared. I, I don't you see if I'm going if I like I should care. be going with the lap, we will meet at home. I don't care. Do what? Uh, is it drop everything you are doing your own? What's the question? Is it what, uh, what will you ask what's happening? What's my business with all that? You <laughs> drop everything you are doing your own. Very correct. That's the option. <laughs> what the police are shouting only. Why am I shouting only? Why am I shouting only? What's my business? Is it my property they stole? Is... Which police are you calling? What is who, who, how do you know it's not the police that shot the gun? Ah, what is Bora? Leave everything and run. <laughs> That's the option. It's so when you are driving mm -hmm. and see people at the pedestrian crossing. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Do you speed up? Do you stop and let them cross? Do you stop but aggressively press the horn? Or do you keep driving and insult people? So, two things. If I'm driving in Obalende, if it's Obalende that I'm driving, and then there's a way people used to walk majestically to cross the road. So I will stop and I will press the horn. I will press, I will press it. You have to walk fast if I'm stopping for you. Well, it depends on my mood. I can't guarantee. I can't promise you what I will do. I, me, I can tell you what but I will do. But it depends on my mood. I will stop. But just know that it will be the Christian thing to do at that time. That's what I'm saying. I will stop. But, <laughs> but I will have the touch of myself. I will press the horn. Yeah, I can't, can't guarantee that you will not get a little bit of insult if I'm not in the right Ah, place. no, if you not, if you not <laughs> think it's your best right, you'll be chopping insults. <laughs> like, if, if but Risky did. once said, a little bit of insults never killed anyone. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't kill anyone. You won't anybody. die, but you will get it. That's it, what yeah. you are very stupid. <laughs> it didn't kill anybody. You get an unexpected alert saying 150k has been paid into your account. You what? Is it quickly go and withdraw the money or go to church and testify about God's favor? Start praying that yes, it doesn't come knocking on your door. Contact the bank to fix the issue. But come up, Baro. I'm too Christian to take another person's money. Yeah. Even if you over overpay me change, I normally return it. So I'm not Nigerian in that aspect. No, if I get a lot of 150k unexpected, I will return the money. Yeah. According to this, they didn't tell us whether somebody made a mistake. It's unexpected. What I will usually do oh yeah that's it's, true i will wait if i did not see anything if i'm if i remember for i cannot go to bank i can put on my status and say please send um evidence of payment or something because i do business so i don't know whether it's somebody that's trying to pay for goods or something but i'll put on my status 
for like two days so that everybody mm -hmm. will know. Mm -hmm. that if nobody, I'm not going to the bank. I check my statements if there's name there. If there's no name, I go to the bank. Please who send social amount. Mm -hmm. And we can now start resolving from there. But if it's bad day two days, say it's my uncle that dash my money. Ah. Ah, well, thank you, sir. God bless you. But if I confirm that it was a mistake transaction, I don't know if it was a mistake, no, I will return the money. I'm not that now. I'm not Nigerian to that point. I can't do that, no. We we'll return the money. We I don't from another nation. I don't think take what God has not blessed me with. Nah, no, we don't. Do as that. part of my own. No. They say what will you what will you eat today? Is this a joke? Rice, probably rice, rice of course. Rice, rice of again. course. Rice again. We eat rice. <laughs> Is there any other food? Uh, <laughs> How are you not eating rice? Yeah, good. <laughs> you will not eat rice. Uh, you will not eat it as rice. You eat it as one. You will eat rice. <laughs> oh so this is the final question. Ah, uh, the question is very plenty. Yeah, this is the final question. So your flight lands safely in Nigeria. What do you do? You start clapping. You stand up and start taking your things from the overload, overhead cabin, or you turn your phone and start calling. Turn on your phone and start calling people. Or sit until this fasten since bed sign is switched off. Well, the first thing is once the plane land, I forever close my eyes. Thank, thank you, Jesus. You. Ah, very I important. Think. There is no small journey. Ah. The Bible says we go and we come God, back because the Lord sustains us. So if we ever land under my breath, I will say thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Then I will now wait because I know that there's something that is to be rushed. I mean, I can't be rushing and plane has not even finished landing. You are already standing up. Where are you going to? All the people that used to even, all the people that used to stand upside plane before even the door of the plane opened. Where are you going? Want to enter. Because all of us will still meet at the baggage claim. That, that baggage claim will still delay all of us. You want to collect their look fast, fast. Even if you stand up before me, it doesn't mean that if I, my back can come up before your bag. <laughs> <laughs> me, no, if it's baggage claim, I know it's to rush. I know it's once it's destination, I've reached where I'm going, I know it's to rush. But if it's to enter the plane, I used to rush. And reason I used to run for but well, later, you have I rush. number already. Now. Let me tell you why. Because some people have more than one carry on. Maybe oh. they are priority members or something. So when they they will now take up all the space, you'll now be looking. Mm. They can say if you can put your bag somewhere, and you may need mm. something from the bag. So I always try to enter early so that my I, bag is on the I, I try to it. enter early too. So when it's I get it, I don't mind sitting down and waiting for everybody to fill up the plane. Mm. When it's time to enter, I try to even be like the first five people yeah. that enters the plane. Please to enter, I yes, do, that. I do that one so that I can. But it's to come down. I used to be among so the last people to I come down. I will All of you rush. All of you rush. Because my what's my the point plane. of rushing? Now, let's say maybe my phone or my AirPod or something just drops off. Except if I'm having a connecting flight, there are times. Oh, if I'm having a connecting flight, yeah. No, it's not that long. Yeah, we do that. Other than that, I don't think we are very Nigerian. Maybe we are not from this, we are from Zion. I don't think that is true. The Bible says we've Lord. been called from every nation, <laughs> every tribe, every tongue. We were, That's true. We are from the city of the Lord, of the Lord, of oh, Master me. Jesus. <laughs> Master oh. Jesus. So I don't think we are very. Uh, this no. test, we didn't pass it to us. We are not very Nigerian. No. What's, one, what's one interest, what's one thing you miss about Nigeria when you're not inside Nigeria? Oh, okay. I think one thing I miss about Nigeria is food. Ah, it's food. Let me just tell people, if I land in Lagos <laughs> today, I've never eaten amala before. Like, beggary amala. I've never in my life had this. If I land in Lagos today, I will look for a better book. <laughs> amala, but because of why? Ogufe, <laughs> roundabout. It's food. That meat, the protein. Ah, I miss Nigerian food. Though. It's, food. it's the food Our and food. the ease to... Ah. When when I was when I went to US, yeah. they they had African stores, mm -hmm. and I and this is me that I don't eat a lot like that. I can survive on provisions, but it was frustrating. I was eating the same food every day. As in, there's no variety. At least I'm in Nigeria. Even if I'm taking conflicts, I don't have to the the I can perfect. still decide to go and carry my atagibo. Can still decide to go and buy, buy akara. Mm -hmm. So there's always something there's different. Yeah, there's ease and access to these things. The, the food here is is ah. Let me tell you another thing about Nigeria. Ah. There's Okada, so everywhere <laughs> okay, Kemara. Yeah. Where we are going today, we will walk around. I walk. Will walk. Us. You I will walk. trek. Yes, today I walk. Oh, you know you shall walk. trek. 
there shall be trekking in your system. You see what Israelite did in the wilderness. You are gonna continue. Ah no, Nigeria tried for that one for keke and bike. Even, even, even if you are going for uh, two blocks away, one block away, you can get some something, a means of transport, a transfer mud mm. that will take you there at a very cheap rate. But you see, in this UK. You know, You're gonna work. <laughs> and then, oh, work, 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 working in the light. <laughs> ah, my goodness. My goodness. You will trek. Ah. I miss I miss that about Nigeria yeah. too. I also miss the touch of madness. It's too calm. People are too well behaved in this country. They are too orderly. You are passing oh, on the road, everybody is driving the lady. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no show the, your way right When you get to the place, you will be missing the other lady. Yeah. Right no, there. when you get to Nigeria, you miss the other lady. But that. now that I'm here, I'm like, ah, too much sense. Everybody is too, too much sense. Ah, ah, somebody just jump red lights. Just, ah, just, everybody is too, just sprinkle small They're minding their business too much. Exactly. As in, Nigerians ah. don't mind their business. We are, we are inside everybody's business. Something will have happened. Somebody will have not come and door. Yeah. Hey, um, that's a uh, it's your water running exactly. I think the, with, the think, gets mad, in, you know? <laughs> in fact, if your neighbor is not seeing you for a while, they will knock your door. Auntie, I never see you for like a week. Oh. You, you travel, you travel, they will ask you. But in this country, you can literally die in your ass and, and they will discover a month after. That's it. Because why I miss, I do miss no. the madness, I do miss it. And but yes. anyways, this one is it was a very short episode. We tried to give you guys a very short episode because the first one that we did, we gave you people wisdom for 30 minutes. If you like, don't call it wisdom. That's your business. We are wise. What? So much wisdom. Yeah. That's it. So I'm going to, if this video is not as long as I want it to be, we are going to visit some places in Bristol today. Yes! So, <laughs> so I may incorporate, incorporate those places that we visit in this video. But thank you very much for having my friend Dolapo on my channel. It's not easy to be mastered yeah! in, the, hey, hey. in the king's land. Oh, yes! To be mastered. <laughs> so master. Not ordinary master. Do you know the kind of master? Ooh. Master of oil and gas. Master it! <laughs> she mastered it. <laughs> if it is easy, do it. I think I got some shit. Was... If it is easy, do it. Thank you. We end here. Drop mic. Drop it. <laughs> <laughs>